Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So for this week, just a short kind of update video because I am waist deep in my next video essay, which will be a special episode of Forgotten Ghibli diving into the relationship between legendary director Hayao Miyazaki and his son Goro Miyazaki, who has directed a few Ghibli films of his own. They have this sort of complicated, sordid relationship, and I think it will be very interesting, and I've been doing a ton of research. So be on the lookout and look forward to that. But anyway, on to the main topic of this video, which is explaining the next chapter of a few pages. First of all, I have chosen the next book already, which will be Letters to a Young Poet by Rainer Maria Rilke. More on that in a second. What I first wanted to talk about was the sort of evolution of a few pages and what that means going forward. So let's just dive into it. So now I am evolving this format, at least, you know, for this next one. We'll see what happens in the future. But what that means is the book club will sort of move into the Discord, the thought space. If you're already in the Discord, you know, I'm not trying to push this on you as a way of forcing you to participate. Of course, just come at your leisure. If you're interested, come check it out from time to time. But anybody who is interested in the book club, in reading and ongoing work together, there will be a new channel I'm starting in the Discord where we can have, you know, ongoing discussions and talk about excerpts from the book or even just highlighting our favorite parts of the text or anything interesting or thought-provoking that you came across while reading it. And I'll be there, you know, as I read it, explaining and talking about things that I found particularly interesting or compelling. And then in the Discord, we can use spoilers tags for anything that is spoilery. So come by and check it out. And then in the Discord, we can decide when we'll have the live stream for the meeting. And so that naturally leads me to my next point, which is regarding the evolution of the live stream format. So in this next live stream, I'm going to take a new approach, which will be, you do not have to have read the book whatsoever. My main focus will simply be reading my favorite passages from the book, and if warranted, a little bit of dissection and analysis, but overall it will be a session where you don't have to have read the book whatsoever, and you can watch it anytime, whether it's live or the recording after the fact, and hopefully, you know, it will just pique your interest in the book, or maybe even give you some insights into why I chose this particular book and hopefully helps you in the way that it helped me and all the things that I learned from it. And so with that being said, what is the actual book, Letters to a Young Poet? So this novel is actually literally a collection of letters written by Rilke to a 19-year-old young Austrian army cadet in the early 20th century. And so this cadet, Franz Savar Kappas, he was a budding young poet himself, and he wrote to Rilke asking for advice and guidance on what it means to be an author, to be a poet, to be a writer. And so Rilke wrote back to him with a series of letters, sort of giving him life advice. And it's just a general transference of knowledge from a more established, experienced perspective, helping a young, you know, amateur looking to get into the creative world of writing. And the specific reason why I chose this book is not only because I myself am a writer, but because I think that the knowledge and information and wisdom passed by from Rilke in this book, in his letters, is applicable to anybody and everybody in any stage of life, no matter what your endeavor is, creatively or otherwise. The compilation of writings and letters and advice in this book is so well thought out and I feel like would be great advice to anybody. And you know, coming from a sort of downswing, hitting that sort of depressive stage in the cycle of life lately, I felt that I personally could use some more perspective and guidance. And I think that's what this book will provide to not only me, but hopefully you as well. And so as a taste of that new livestream format, that I mentioned. I thought that I would read a passage from the first letter that Rilke writes in this book, and hopefully it will give you a taste of what you can expect in the rest of the book, and will hopefully pique your interest in reading this book and joining the discussion um, in the thought space. And so let's head on over and dive into the text and see what he has to say. 
So for some brief context, the young poet Kappas has written to Rilke and shared some of his writing, and has asked the difficult question of how one knows if they are a writer. And so Rilke responds as such. Nobody can counsel and help you. Nobody. There is only one single way. Go into yourself. Search for the reason that bids you write. Find out whether it is spreading out its roots in the deepest places of your heart. Acknowledge to yourself whether you would have to die if it were denied you to write. This above all, ask yourself in the stillest hour of your night. Must I write? Delve into yourself for a deep answer. And if this should be affirmative, if you may meet this earnest question with a strong and simple, I must, then build your life according to this necessity. Your life even into its most indifferent and slightest hour must be a sign of this urge and a testimony to it. A work of art is good if it has sprung from necessity. In this nature of its origin lies the judgment of it. There is no other. Try, like some first human being, to say what you see and experience and love and lose. Do not write love poems. Avoid at first those forms that are too facile and commonplace. They are the most difficult, for it takes a great, fully matured power to give something of your own where good and even excellent traditions come to mind in quantity. Therefore, save yourself from these general themes and seek those which your own everyday life offers you. Describe your sorrows and desires, passing thoughts, and the belief in some sort of beauty. Describe all these with loving, quiet, humble sincerity, and use to express yourself the things in your environment, the images from your dreams, and the objects of your memory. If your daily life seems poor, do not blame it. Blame yourself. Tell yourself that you are not poet enough to call forth its riches. For to the Creator, there is no poverty and no poor in different place. I know no advice for you save this, to go into yourself and test the deeps in which your life takes rise. At its source, you will find the answer to the question whether you must create. Accept it, just as it sounds, without inquiring into it. Perhaps it will turn out that you are called to be an artist. Then take that destiny upon yourself and bear it, its burden and its greatness without ever asking what recompense might come from outside. For the Creator must be a world for himself, and find everything in himself and in nature to whom he has attached himself." Yeah, I mean, what can I say? The man is a truly masterful writer, and I haven't actually read the full text myself yet, that's what this book club is about, but hopefully that little taste of it really piqued your interest because I think that this book will be an excellent source of wisdom and knowledge and hopefully will give me and you a great sense of perspective and food for thought in any endeavors in life we may pursue, whatever they may be. But yeah, you know, that's basically all I had to say. Uh, I hoped this would be a short video, but I think it's a bit longer than I expected. But anyway, if you are interested, consider joining the Thought Space, you know, coming to that new channel. There are no strings attached. You don't have to participate. You don't have to say anything. You can just come by and read what's going on, you know, hear my thoughts, hear my ideas about the book and the book club as it's ongoing. But, you know, either way, whether you join or not, whether you come to the live stream or not, hopefully you enjoy the new format of the next chapter of a few pages. And I am really looking forward to jumping into this book talking more about it, and meeting more of you in the Discord. But as always, I feel we have reached the end of our time here, so thank you so much for watching. Looking forward to meeting you in the Discord, and I'll see you all in the next one.